Hi, this is Jim, and to, uh, this video I want to show you how you can add weight to your flies. And uh, there are several ways that are standard ways. There's a few other ways too, but I'll show you several. Uh, the first one is just with a bead head, and down here we have some bead heads, um, and they come in different sizes and different colors. Uh, but the thing to notice about them is that, I hope you can see this, on one side of the bead head there's a small hole and on the other side of the bead head there's a tapered hole. And whenever you put the bead head on you always put the small hole on the hook first so it, sh it goes up next to the eye. Now this bead head is not going to go on this hook because of the barb and you, know, you can see it won't fit. So most of the time we smash these barbs with our pliers and after you smash them down then we usually get these bead heads on. So you notice I put the little little hole on first and it goes up against the eye. So that's the way it'd look. So that's one way. Another way is with a uh, cone head and a cone head's not anything different than a bead head it's just different shaped bead head. The next way is with eyes and this is a dumbbell eye, uh, a bead chain eye, this one's a dumbbell eye and this one's lead that's been painted this one's just a piece of bead chain and you can see how whenever you put that on you get an eyeball on each side of the of the hook. These bead chains aren't very heavy so you don't get too much weight but, but you can get an eye. Okay here's some, another dumbbell eye they can be made out of lead or brass or other things and then finally the uh, last way a lot of flies are weighted is with a lead wire so we'll show you what you do to, to weight one with lead wire So we'll start our, our thread, get it back out of the way, then just take hold of your wire and you wind it on. Sometimes you use more wrap, some less, it's according to how much weight you want to add. And when you get done, then if you hold your thumbnail like this and wiggle this wire it'll break off right there at the at the hook. On the back end I can either break this off or I can go ahead and twist it on. Now this time I put the the weight in the middle of the hook so whenever I have the fly sink it would sink more horizontally like this sink down horizontally. If you put the weight up towards the front of the hook then it'll sink down and come back up like this. So it's according to what kind of action you want on your fly. After you've put on the lead wire and have it positioned where you want then you just go ahead and cover it with several wraps of, of thread. And at this point that's pretty well locked down and I could go ahead and make the rest of my fly. So that's how we go ahead and fix the weight for our fly and we have another um, video that shows how I put on one of these dumbbell eyes so that they'll be uh, on tight. Good luck, and a lot of times it helps to weight your flies.